Hey guys, what's up? So I got some new courses on Udemy. I'm going to give that a try. I was talking to Brad Traversi and he was actually recommending that I go ahead and do that. So I'd never worked with Udemy before, so I'm trying it out. But I'm actually curious if you guys could help me out. Um, there is like, if you look at the link below, it's like for free. So if you guys could just at least uh, review the course for me, I appreciate that. And any feedback or anything like that. So some of the new courses are going to be released exclusively for Udemy. And like, here's one that's uh, pending with React and TypeScript. So Anyway, just if you guys would check that out, I appreciate it. So this video, I'm following up on the the PHP one last time. Um, just for the record, like there are far worse languages than PHP. PHP is not the worst language in the world. I simply think Python C Sharp is better. I think it's going to teach you better fundamentals and everything. I think both of those languages are probably harder than PHP. Um, but there's no denying the fact that PHP has like 83% of the server market and that tons of people like to use WordPress and the things like OpenCart and all those other e-commerce platforms that only seem to work on a PHP stack. Then there's Laravel and things like that. So I know that, that PHP is popular. Number one, um, you always go with where the money and the jobs are, though. If it's writing PHP, then definitely, by all means, do that. In the United States, though, I don't... I, maybe it's just me. I don't think there's going to be a huge demand, like new development, jumping into PHP. I don't see why. One of the big... Um, popular frameworks right now that's under works is uh, this Deno framework, which is built using TypeScript. And it's still using a lot of C and um, uh, looks like a lot of C. And then there's definitely a lot of Go and Rust as well. But it's like, it, it's an entirely, um, you know, a synchronous alternative basically to Node.js. And it's being written by one of the creators of Node.js. So just in this last month, that project's had like 36,000 uh, GitHub stars, which is interesting. I think it's just because of who Ryan Dahl is. But the the thing that I'm trying to say here is that like they're using they're using C because they need speed, obviously, and then they're using Go and Rust because of uh, the fact that you can write concurrent programs and um, much e much more simplicity. Those are things that like PHP. You're just not going to use PHP to do. So where does PHP really shine? I mean, it shines on the web server, right? It's a scripting language on the web server. And granted, it also is a object-oriented language. I understand that, but it was tacked on. So what I was saying is fully object-oriented. I mean, like with, you know, like C Sharp was designed fully object-oriented in mind. You can't write it procedurally. Um, so that's basically what I was talking about. And then the final thing is really just, is anybody really going to say that it's a good idea to just have PHP to be able to list down on your resume? Like that's like, I mean, that's, I, I would definitely want to supplement that with something else. I mean, most likely you're going to put Java uh, or JavaScript on there, but if you could put like a you know a C sharp, a Java, a Rust, a Go, something like that, I think that's going to go a lot further, um, at least in the states. I mean, for for newer development. Now another thing too, though, is I do recognize that all the developers that are watching this video and they're even in this industry right now are probably going to have PHP work for the rest of their careers. I would think. Um, I just don't see it exploding uh, like, you know, like Python with data sciences and things like that. There's just there's nothing that PHP like really, really does better than anything else, in my opinion, except for maybe just being a quick scripting language to throw some stuff on on an Apache server or something. I'm not like if you if you compare the languages to what like Python or C Sharp or even Ruby or something, it's. You know, I, I don't know, but a lot of people obviously use PHP though, and it is free to host. And once again, there's going to be work there. So always follow the money and the jobs. That's always uh, what I've said. But do I recommend it as a first language? Do I still don't? I, I just don't.